guys welcome back as promised here's my pale skin makeup look for daytime and please keep watching if you want to learn how to do this um, I also have a giveaway going I'm gonna be giving away two of the Maybelline color tattoo cream eyeshadow colors one is in tough as taupe and the other one is in bad to the bronze they're both going to be in my tutorial, so if you want to see um, how I get this look, please keep watching. And if you want to enter my contest, all you have to do is leave me a comment below, subscribe to my channel, and give me a thumbs up. I'll see you guys soon. Hi guys, welcome back. So I'm going to be doing a very quick, uh, fresh, pale skin spring tutorial, and... Um, I've already washed my face, prepped with a little bit of Urban Decay Primer all over, and let it set for about two minutes. Then I went ahead and put on my Bourjois Healthy Mix Serum foundation and a little bit of HD Makeup Forever powder. So now we're going to go ahead and just start with the eyes. And today I'm going to be using cream eyeshadows. I'm going to be using the 24 hour color tattoo. And we're going to start off with this color Tough as Taupe. It looks like this. And just use your finger, kind of rub it in. I'm going to go on the outer edges. I'm just making a cat eye look. blend it until it's really soft like that in with this other color bad to the bronze and we're also going to be concentrating that right over top of the taupe color we just put down really soften it up and what we're going for is a daytime smoky eye look that's completely wearable for pale skin. And once you've kind of had it smudged out and about the same shape on each side, I'm going to go back in with Barely Branded. It's this really pretty shimmery white kind of color. And then we're just going to be putting that on the inner third of the eye. And then you can bring it into the tear duct area just a little bit and then kind of Fade it out on the bottom. And this really opens it up and makes it a lot more daytime looking. Okay, 
now that we're done with that, we're going to take what's left on your finger and just take it onto the brow bone. Next we're going to move on to eyebrows and normally I wouldn't do anything with eyebrows before but now I've lightened my hair yet again a little bit so I want them to stand out just a tiny bit. I'm going to be taking a dark brown shadow. This is from Clinique. And it comes with a little brush, and I'm just kind of filling in any gaps. I like my eyebrows to be kind of more straight across than angled. And this one looks a little bit wonky because I'm trying to grow it in in a couple places where it's missing. We're going to go in with, back to the eyes, this silvery eyeliner, and I'm going to go ahead and just put that right on the tear duct. A little bit of shine. Next I'm going to go in with a dark black eyeliner, this one's from Makeup Forever. I'm going to go ahead and line my upper waterline, and this gives your eyes a little bit extra definition, makes the lashes look thicker at the base, and it's just a little bit nicer than going in and lining the top half of your eyes for like a more subtle look. like a little difference but it's noticeable and then what you can also do if you want a little bit more drama excuse me is just go ahead and lightly kind of dot near your eyelash base on the last corner and it adds just a tiny bit of definition We're almost done with the eyes. Now what we're gonna do is go ahead and just curl the eyelashes and add a little bit of mascara. And I'm using my favorite, the Lancome Hypnostar 24 hour mascara in waterproof. I'm doing just two quick coats. And then I'm just going to do one coat on the bottom of each. Next we're going to go in and add just a really light peachy pink. And this is from NARS, it's Orgasm. up with a lip color so what I'm going to do is use this Revlon Just Bitten Lip Stain and this one I can't even see the color because it's 
worn off. Next, we're going to top it off with the Revlon Kissable Rendezvous. And there you have it. So that is our finished look. 